The first on our list is the guides and rulers. So you must be wondering how I got this grid lines that help me position my icons perfectly. And the amazing part about this grid lines is that it's building CapCut for you to us for free. So let me show you where exactly to find this and how to use it to create amazing content. And if you have been using CapCut, CapCut has this line but invisible and shows up when you align something with it. So this feature has been around, but this time CapCut is giving you a total control over it. To use this grid line first, come to this side of the preview window and click on this icon here and you will find guides and rulers here. So what I like to do first is to enable the ruler first. So just click on show rulers and you will see this ruler here around your video on the preview window. So now let's bring in some lines on the screen. So click on the same icon again, go to guides and rulers, then I will select add horizontal guide. And this horizontal line will be placed in the middle, but you can also move it to anywhere you want on the screen. So let's add a vertical guide on the screen and same as the horizontal guide, you can also move it to anywhere you want. So you can add as many guides as you want. But here is the catch. There is an easy way to add these guides to your screen. And this is by using the ruler on the screen. So if you want to add a horizontal guide first place, the cursor on the horizontal rule. And as you can see, the cursor will change. And all you need to do is click and drag it to where you want. And you can use this same method to add vertical guides. And also, if you want your guides to align with the numbers on the ruler, just right click on the guide then you will see two options and you can delete the guide or edit it. So click on edit guide. And this window will appear. The first option you change the unit to either pixels or percentage. And on the position side you type the number on the ruler you want to align your guide with. So you can do it for all the guides to have the same space. So now I am going to add this Instagram icon to the timeline then resize it and place it on the right. And since I have guides on the screen positioning my icons won't be a problem and am going to add another icon. And instead of struggling to align these icons, the guides and rulers feature in CapCut has made it very simple and easy. So now I will add some animations to my icons and there you go, this new feature, make editing more simple and easy to align elements on the screen. And for the next feature, if you mostly edit shorts, reels, and TikTok, then this tools is for you. And this feature is the social media preview, a new tool that lets you preview your shorts on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube without leaving CapCut editing interface. So I have this image on the timeline, and as you can see, it's a nine by 16 format, which is for YouTube shorts, TikTok, and Instagram reels. So I will change the layout to vertical, so you will see everything vividly. So come and click on this icon here, and then select vertical, and this layout makes it easier to edit shorts. And before you can use this amazing tool, unless you change the aspect ratio to nine by 16, come and click on this icon here on the preview window, then select nine by 16, which is the aspect ratio for YouTube shorts and TikTok. And after changing the aspect ratio, this icon, which is the social media icon will pop up. And if you click on it, you will have three options, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and Instagram reels. So you can select the platform you will be posting the video to. So let's select TikTok. And as you can see, TikTok's interface will be displayed on your video. And with this, you can now know exactly where to place your elements like icons, text, and captions to avoid it being covered by the interface. And if you are posting to YouTube or Instagram, you can use those features to make editing shorts even more less stressful and fun. The next tool will blow your mind, and I didn't know it was even around until I mistakenly found it. And this feature lets you export a portion of your project with ease. So I have this video on the timeline, and I want to export just this side of the video. What you have to do is to make a split. So I will split it here, then right click on the part you want to export, then go to range, then click on select by click. And as you can see, only that footage has been selected. And another easy way to do this is to select the clip first, then press shift plus X on the keyboard and you are good to go. So now when you are done, go to export, then you can change the name, file, location, and resolution. And when you are done, export your video onto your computer. Now the next tutorial, let me show you how to create a border around you image. First, you have to import your background to the media panel. So I will be using this orange background for this tutorial. And four, does that dot have these background? I will show you how to get some in CapCut. So keep watching the video if you want to find out. Now I will add the background to the timeline and then extend the duration a bit. 
and now I will place my main video on top of the background then trim the background to have the same duration. Now select your main video then resize it a bit. Then after that resize your background to fill the screen. While your background is selected go to mask click on add mask and select rectangle mask. Now adjust the mask until you get the exact border that you want. So just play around with it until you get what you want. And when you are done with your border select the two clips and create a compound clip. And now you can resize it with your border and also move it to anywhere that you want. So now for everyone who doesn't have these solid color background, this is now to create this border and cap cut without importing any background. First, make sure the video you want to create the border is on the main layer. Then go to the basic tab, scroll down to canvas, click on the drop down menu, then select color. And now you will have different kinds of color you can use AS the border. So I am going to use this orange color for this tutorial. Now after selecting the color you want right click on the clip then create a compound clip. And now you can move both the colored background and your footage at the same time with no issue. Now what you have to do is to go to mask, click on add mask and select rectangle mask. Then play around with the mask until you get the border that you want. And also if you find it's hard adjusting the mask you can come to mask settings and use this particular setting for the adjustment. And this is how to create this border around you videos in CapCut video editor. So which of these are you trying in your next edit? Let me know in the comments section. See you in the next video.